was just saying, if there is no control over this, they will simply defeat us. Are you going to defend them too? I'm not defending anyone, just in my opinion, there is no equal sign between terrorists equipped with grenades and the bearded guy who prays to Allah instead of Jesus. But those Allah prayers and the ones who destroy our houses and explode on our street. Actually, it took place in Iraq and the only victims are Muslim people. It doesn't make a difference. It makes a huge difference. For terrorists, it doesn't matter whether you wear a cross or any other sign on your neck. Simply, if you don't agree with them, you're the enemy. But still, the one terrorizing is an Arab, and you want them here. You want to give them house, social benefits, and even the newest iPhone model. But not all of them are terrorists. Not all of them kill. It's just... Not every Muslim is a terrorist, but every terrorist is a Muslim. Yeah, yeah. Not every human is a murderer, but every murderer is a human. Bullshit. The ones that you hate so much are afraid of the same people who we are afraid of. They escape from them because they are human beings and no human being wants to live in fear, hunger, war and destruction. Why don't they fight? According to statistics, 70% of the immigrants coming to Europe are men. Why the hell wouldn't they grab weapons and fight for their land? If our grandfathers had escaped Arabia or Iran, instead of fighting, we would be living in a completely different world. But they actually did. During World War II, hundreds of thousands of Europeans found shelter in Iran, and none of them was asked what kind of religion sign they were, in which language they pray, or what food they avoid. They were just welcomed. But for Christ's sakes, we haven't terrorized anyone. Can you find me just one example of a European blowing himself into pieces in an Arabic mall? So, how would you call those American and European attacks that are happening to basically destabilize the whole Middle East since decades? Dropping bombs and their houses in the name of democracy, exploitation of the countries themselves and citizens. That's isn't... a completely different story. Sure, it's way more tragic because, you know, at least they do not pretend. Whenever some idiot makes an assault in the mall, street, or Whatever, they do not pretend anything. However, when Eastern countries invade, destroy their culture, and they, they steal oil resources, oh. quiet, when they steal oil resources, they use lofty slogans of how they just saved the nation and finally, finally introduced so very much wanted freedom and democracy. That's right, dozens of dictators, no particular law, barbaric cuts. So we, as civilized people, are obligated to react and clean the mess. Pure logic. And that mess cleaning is supposed to feed people? Democracy will rebuild their houses and civilization will bring their dead children back to life? No, but it will stop the process. Also, there will be no reason to interfere anymore. There will be no lunatics crawling into our doors under the name of war victims and poor refugees. The circle will finally close. <laughs> no, the circle will only open. Why do you think they escape? They escape from our bombs, our democracy. Wrong. Anyway, despite all this, simply welcoming them is nothing more than a suicide. It's a different culture, different beliefs and a different religion. Do you know the average number of children in an Arabic family? Seven to eight. So what are we waiting for? Reproduce? Don't interrupt me. Seven to eight while the European averages want to do. They will make us disappear. Our lifestyle and our culture. What is more, 20% of them are terrorists. Or at least it's somehow connected to them. Sounds like a bullshit. Really? When was the last Nora Arabic assault? Oh, maybe you've forgotten your own sister. Maybe you've forgotten the bullet ripping apart her guts. The bullet blowing her hand and the last one piercing her knee. Shut the fuck up. And maybe you've forgotten her slowly dying next to some random theatre in Paris because I haven't forgotten mine and I never will. I will always remember her and what happened then. But it doesn't make any difference. Sorrow hasn't blinded me and the pain won't make me deaf to somebody's pain. That's why we have to take them, so that no other brother would have to cry over his dead sister nowhere. Not only in Europe, because it's neither the beginning of the world nor its ending. But if we let them in, all of those Mohammeds and Ali's, then someone will surely cry. And it won't be them. That's just the matter of time. There was Nice, Paris, Brussels. Should we wait for Warsaw, Budapest to Prague? How can you support this shit? How can you forgive them so quickly? Forgive who? Did those skinny starving children kill my sister? Did they? Huh? How can you be so blind? Why won't you think about it more rationally? I am thinking rationally. I remember and I won't forget. Why? Because I'm human. I remember too. It doesn't look like that. If you did, you wouldn't defend them. You wouldn't want anyone experiencing what you have experienced. I don't. That's why I think we should help them. Why? Because I'm a human too. It doesn't make any difference. You're just blind because...